Hi everyone and welcome back to my new model Barmy channel. A uh, bit of scale modelling this time, uh, so I make some apologies for those viewers and subscribers that follow my model railway builds, uh, but I cut my teeth on scale modelling and all the skills that I learnt doing that uh, are transferable to model railways. So I do think there's a bit of relevance here uh, and some of the things that, uh, that I do can quite easily be included in a, a model railway layout. Anyway, let's see what I've been up to. So here we have two Zvezda 1 to 100 scale model tank kits. They are intended for wargaming, uh, but they are really nice little kits. Uh, they're actually clipped together, so you don't have to glue them, although I do. Um, but they're perfect for the kind of dioramas that I have to build because I've got absolutely no room at home whatsoever. So all my um, kits and um, dioramas tend to be quite small, as are my model railways. So these kits build up very quickly. Um, and here you see that I've placed them on a foam board base, which will be the base for the diorama uh, and just uh, drawn on where the buildings and things will be. This gives you an idea of the actual scale of the, of the tanks with that uh, pot of Tamiya thin cement. They are very, very tiny. Uh, and as you can see with the Sherman, I managed to track down some uh, resin parts, some track and stowage items, and I've made the additional um, ad hoc armour out of cocktail sticks. Uh, so that forms the logs on the side of the uh, hull and on the uh, front of the, um, the hull as well. So here I'm creating some debris, uh, so that's all sorts of little bits and pieces, uh, matchsticks chopped up, um, some plastic card chopped up into individual little bricks, um, some styrene strip to make uh, tiles, a little bit of uh, plastic stretch sprue to make pipes, all the sort of stuff that would be strewn around. Uh, and that's going to be pressed into some Daz air drying clay and then they'll have some, um, oh, I'll put some PVA over the top of that to fix it all in place. The bombed out ruins of the uh, buildings are made out of foam board, which I've embossed using a ballpoint pen and created some of the fascias by adding some uh, plastic art over the top as well. Um, and as you can see here, um, I've also um, embossed the cobblestones into the roadway in the normal way that I have done this in the past on some of my other videos. Uh, and then I've given the whole lot uh, an undercoat, a prime if you like, of black, because I felt that would give the different textures uh, better definition by creating a bit of shadow. So now I've added some color, um, and you can see that I've uh, picked out the individual bits of uh, debris, so the bricks, the bit, pieces of wood, piping, uh, and coloured all the cobblestones. Um, I've painted the fascias, added some sort of soot from where the uh, where there would have been a fire. Um, so with the um, sort of diorama um, getting there, uh, we'll turn our attention back to the armour uh, and get these tanks painted up. So the Sherman's been given a spray of uh, Vallejo US olive drab. Uh, and I've picked out all the bits of stowage and the logs um, individually. And then the whole thing's had an oil wash of uh, black and burnt umber. Um, and a little bit of additional weather in here and there. Um, some rust. Um, and yeah, happy how this has turned out. Uh, Pans of four. That's sand yellow. I've mixed up my own um, earth brown and green colours once again with a wash. And the camouflage was applied with the airbrush freehand uh, and then once I'd done that I gave the whole thing a, a dust over a mist coat of the sand yellow again to make the um, camouflage look a bit washed out and the final shot here um, just gives you an idea of the scale again with the Tamiya cement bottle in place. So let's take a look at the finished diorama.
So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching uh, and uh, stay safe everyone and I'll look forward to catching up with you on the next project. See ya.